now we are seeing shear force and bending moment diagram for cantilever beam so here a cantilever beam is given with uh, three point loads that is 6 kilo newtons 4 kilo newtons and uh, 2 kilo newtons acting at uh, different uh, points on this cantilever beam so to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram first of all we have to calculate uh, shear forces at different points or locations on this cantilever beam so here let us calculate shear force at uh, B so first of all uh, to calculate shear force at any point or at any section let us define uh, what is shear force at uh, any section or at any point so the shear force at any point is defined or section is defined as the sum of the forces to the uh, right or left of the section or a point so here uh, i will start from right side and i will move to the left of this diagram so in that case i am taking all the forces to the right of the point or a section so here to go calculate or to write shear force at point b so to the right of b no forces are there but uh, exactly at b point load is acting so here the shear force at b will become 6 kilo newtons and uh, when you take a uh, uh, sign convention for this shear force so here at any point or section the when shear force is going clockwise suppose if you take uh, this is a point a so about this point uh, this shear force is going clockwise so it is positive means so when the shear force is going uh, clockwise it is positive about the section suppose xx section so shear force is going here it is going clockwise and here also it is going clockwise so it is positive so friends uh, to make it easy and uh, uh, let us i am taking the shear force which is going downward as positive in a shortcut way so here the shear force or the force at b or the point load at b is going downwards so i am taking it as positive so here the shear force at b is 6 kilo newtons and here next shear force at c so as i told some of the forces to the right so to the right we have 6 kilo newtons and it is going downwards so it is positive plus at c point load is acting so this point load also we have to take means it is a all of sudden load which is acting exactly at c so this also we have to take here so 6 and this is also going downwards so it is also positive 6 plus 4 is 10 kilo newtons is the shear force value at point c and let us calculate shear force at d so sum of the forces to the right of d so here we have 6 going down positive plus 4 going down positive and uh, here at d uh, 2 kilo newtons is acting so it is a point load which is acting exactly at d so we have to take this also so it is also going downwards so it is also positive so plus 2 that is 12 kilo newtons so friends while we are calculating shear force at different points we can take the previous value means here uh, we have taken 6 plus 4 and plus 2 so this anyway uh, the previous value is 6 plus 4 10 means here the value 10 we can directly take instead of this 6 plus 4 or we can write uh, from the starting value anyway uh, which is which is uh, convenient or easy you can follow like that so here anyway shear force at d is 12 kilo newtons and from d to a there is no force so the shear force will continue up to a so the shear force value at a is 12 kilo newtons and this is uh, also going downward so it is positive so here to draw this shear force diagram let us take uh, this dotted lines from all these key points so here like this and here just uh, indicate or draw a line between these two end key points draw a line which is indicating the length of the beam and here to draw the shear force diagram so start from the right side and uh, the shear force at b is 6 kilo newtons so it is a point load so it is all of sudden load so to indicate this we will take a vertical line so it is positive so when uh, i have taken the line to indicate the length of the beam 
so above line i'll take it as a positive and the below line i'll take it as a negative so here 6 kilo newtons is positive means the shear force at b is 6 kilo newtons which is positive so and it is a point load so i'll indicate with the line such that it is indicating all of sudden load so 6 kilo newtons i'll take approximately this much so according to that we have to you know indicate the other uh, load values so from b to c there is no load so it will continue up to c so it is the horizontal line from b to c and at c 4 kilo newtons is acting so when you take 6 this much 4 maybe this much and here once again from c to d there is no force so it will continue up to d and at d 2 kilo newtons is acting so indicate 2 kilo newtons and it is also point load so indicate with the line and uh, from d to a there is no load so continue this up to a and this close this diagram so total is positive so total diagram we got also above the line means so this will indicate positive so at b it is 6 kilo newtons the value of shear force at c it is 6 plus 4 10 kilo newtons and at uh, d it is 12 kilo newtons and at a also it is 12 kilo newtons and from the diagram we can uh, understand that the shear force value at a is also 12 kilo newtons and this how we got means it is a reaction of uh, this uh, cantilever beam at the support so this 12 kilo newtons indicate the reaction force of all these forces so that we are getting 12 kN at A. So next to draw the bending moment diagram, let us calculate bending moment at different points. So here first of all, uh, when you uh, will define what is a uh, bending moment, suppose if a force is acting at a point A, suppose force is F is acting and uh, we require bending, bending moment at some point O. So I require bending moment at O because of the force F. So let us take the distance between these two points as D. So I require moment at O because of F. So moment or bending moment is defined as force multiplied by the perpendicular distance between these two points means where the force is acting and where we require the moment. So it is force multiplied by the distance. So this will give the moment or bending moment at that point. So here uh, when you take or when you want to calculate bending moment uh, at uh, B, so it is force multiplied by the distance. So at B we have force but uh, at B only we require moment so B to B distance is 0. So this force means this 6 multiplied by distance is 0, B to B distance is 0. Why because we are calculating moment or bending moment at B so distance is 0. So overall we will get moment as 0 or bending moment at B is 0 and also here uh, to calculate or to write bending moment values we have to follow a sign convention so pre, uh, friends see here so when a force is bending the beam down, uh, upward so it is negative bending moment which is nothing but hogging we will take it as hogging and it is negative and when a force is bending the beam downwards so it is positive and this is nothing but sagging will take so here anyway it is zero so it will uh, next when you go for bending moment at uh, c so here also the definition of bending moment is sum of the moments to the right or left of a section or point so here at c we are calculating so we have to come from starting point or starting load. So when you are calculating at C, to the right of C, 6 kilo newtons is acting and here the distance. So here we require a bending moment at C. So to the right of C we have 6 kilo newtons and uh, this is the point of application of load and we require moment at C. So uh, distance between these two points is 2 meters. So and also this 6 kilo newtons will bend the beam or the layers of the beam uh, upward direction so which is nothing but negative moment. So we are right here minus 6 into 2 
and also here four kilo newtons is acting at c but uh, this uh, effect of this four kilo newtons means the four kilo newtons cannot create moment at c because c to c distance is zero that we don't take here so here total moment at c is nothing but minus 6 into 2 is nothing but minus 12 kilo newton and meter and next we require bending moment at d so sum of the moments to the right means moments created by all forces to the right side of d so here to the right side of d so i told we have to start from the first point so 6 kilo newtons is acting here and uh, we require moment at d so in between these two the distance is 2 plus 2 4 and also this 6 kilo newtons will create negative moment that is hogging moment so it is minus 6 into distance is 4 and next this 4 is acting here at c and uh, it is it also create hogging moment so which is negative so minus 4 into distance in between these two points is 2 and here 2 is acting at exactly at d so the moment created by 2 kilo newtons at d is 0 because distance is 0 so we don't write that one so here this total is minus 32 kilo newton meter and next we require bending moment at a bending moment at a so start from the first point so this 6 kilo newtons will create negative once again about a so minus 6 into distance is 2 plus 2 plus 1 this is 5 and uh, next 4 so it also creates minus or negative moment so minus 4 into distance is 2 plus 1 3 and next 2 is there so it also creates hogging negative moment so minus 2 into distance is 1 so this total moment at a is minus 44 kilo newton meter so load value and distance is meters so these are the bending moment values at uh, these key points so let us draw the bending moment diagram so same way just take dotted lines to indicate the key points here so to draw the uh, length of the beam here so draw the length of the beam and indicate the key points here a and b and in between so this point is c and this point is d and here also this point is c and this point is d so here when you see the bending moment value at b is 0 and bending moment value at c is minus 12 kilo newtons so as i told we will take positive above the line and negative below the line so here at c is minus 12 kilo newton meter and b is 0 so means from 0 to minus 12 means downward so here to draw the bending moment diagram it will depend upon the shear force diagram so when you want to draw bending moment diagram between two points so observe the shear force diagram between those same two points so if we have a horizontal line between two points between those same two points we will get a inclined line in the bending moment diagram and if we have the shear force diagram if we have an inclined line itself we will get same those two points we will get a curve here parabolic curve so here between b and c we have a horizontal line so in the bending moment diagram we will get a inclined line and it is uh, zero to negative so the inclined line will be downward direction so here take a proper scale or proper length to indicate uh, 12 32 and 44 so i am taking 12 this much so 0 to 12 uh, that is minus 12 means negative uh, downward direction uh, horizontal line and here, here inclined line so this is inclined line and uh, here it is 12 kilo newton meter and just don't write once again negative here because we have already taken downward direction is negative and next from minus 12 to minus 32 minus 32 is happening at point d so if this much is a 12 and 32 may be this much at d so minus 12 to minus 32 here so once again between c and d we have 
horizontal line. So here we'll get inclined line. Inclined line here. So minus 32 maybe up to here. So it is 32 kilonewton meter. And next uh, at A we have minus 44 kilonewton meter. So 32 to 44. So 44 maybe this much if you take. So minus 32 to minus 44. So R it is 32 to 44 kilonewton meter. So here also between D and A we have horizontal line. So here we'll get inclined line in the bending moment diagram between those two same points. So it is inclined line here and here close this diagram. So this total is negative here and it is 44 kilonewton meter. So this is the bending moment diagram for this case. So this way we have to draw the shear force and the bending moment diagram for the cantilever beam with the given point loads. So if you require we can hash this space also to look the diagram in a neat manner. So you may hatch this diagram. For more videos please subscribe and activate bell symbol. Thank you.